Welcome to my channel. This right here is a 2023 Cascadia with a D15 engine. And uh, just because this is a new truck doesn't mean that it won't have problems. Newer trucks tend to have more problems because they have more electronic components. And very simple components like sensors can cause major issues. In this case, the reason why this 2023 Cascadia is here is because it was showing messages on the screen on the dashboard saying about uh, it was overheating, temp coolant temperature was high, and the actual gauge of temperature it was showing, then it was not even warm at all. Um, if, there is many reasons why problems like this can happen, but it's very important to notice that this truck only have 80,000 miles on it. Uh, based on the customer say then the, uh, they took the truck to the dealer or to any other repair shop I don't know uh, that's what he says um, and they replaced the water pump and yeah it looks like the water pump was replaced and thermostat and the problem was continuously happened so uh, it was my duty now to check the truck starting over what was the problem so once i connected the DL software i noticed that there were a couple folds about coolant sensors in this case um, the fold was referring to the coolant sensor out which is the one that is right on the passenger side of the engine uh, there is the outlet of the engine then goes to the radiator and that is the sensor that determines the temperature there is another sensor also in the driver's side and is located right under the oil module, this is the oil filter and everything, so the sensor is located right in there. And it's kind of hard to see it, but anyway, there is two sensors, uh, two temperature sensors for um, this D15 engine, one inlet, one outlet. The inlet is just in charge to know what is the percentage of temperature that is being dropped after the radiator, and the outlet is in charge to determine when it is time to activate the radiator and when the engine is overheating or when to or, or when, when the engine is too cold. So that way, the engine can work in different ways. Um, so, uh, well, I mean, now then we know that we have a problem with a uh, sensor, in this case, the outlet sensor, it is time to remove it. So after we remove the sensor, of course, there was the problem. The sensor had an issue. So um, the sensor is right here. And uh, after replacing it, we can see the damage. See, this is a bad sensor and this is a good sensor. So this, this, are, this engine have two sensors, as I said before. So it is always good recommended to replace both of the sensors. That way the function of the engine keeps on the optimal. Um, but uh, the reason why the sensor went by is because the tip of the sensor is broken. That's the area then determines or the measures the temperature. So it looks like this, but because it was completely gone, um, it wasn't able to determine, to read the temperature of the engine. Um, that's the reason why the computer couldn't figure it out what was the issue. It wasn't saying that the sensor was disconnected. It was just saying that the sensor had a problem. It's just because it was broken. The two tips, the two uh, pins of the sensor were still there. So that's the reason why the computer was kind of confused. It wasn't decided of, the, of uh, knowing that the sensor was disconnected or it was shorted to ground because the actual electronic of the sensor was fine. It was just the measuring capabilities of the sensor was the one that were completely destroyed because this area, the tip of the sensor is the one that has all that, as I said before. Um, of course, right, after replacing the sensor with a new one, the problem went away engine started with the region it's always important when you work in anything that has to be related with cooling with cooling of the engine do a region that way you can see the temperature going up and down engine fan kicking on kicking off depending on the circumstances and and see any leaks around that is very important to do that doing regions after any repair but uh this right here um even though in this at 2023 with less than 100,000 miles, it's still gonna get problems and it's gonna get more electronic problems as it gets older. But that's the reason why you have to be prepared. You have to have the diagnostic tools, you have to have knowledge on what sensors and knowledge of the location of the sensor and what sensor do, each sensor what it does. So once you have all the knowledge, you're gonna be able to determine what are the proper repairs for the things that you have to do in these engines. 
but um, just a little video to show you about these uh, newer trucks. I'm gonna keep on doing more videos about these newer trucks since, uh, well, I mean, it's very hard to find information online and I'm trying my best to give you the best information possible so that way uh, you can get the best idea on what to do to your engines in case you're having problems with it. Anyway, uh, this is all I'm gonna share with you. If you have any questions, just comment below. Look for me on Instagram. Francisco Maya YouTube. You can uh, support my channel by seeing the description of the video. I have details how to support the channel. And thank you for watching.